George Galloway has accused Emmanuel Macron of hypocrisy after the French president bashed Donald Trump and the U.S. Capitol riots, even though Paris has been a war zone for more than a year. President Macron quickly delivered a speech condemning Donald Trump and his supporters who stormed the U.S. Capitol building in Washington, D.C. Speaking from the Elysee Palace, he said, What happened today in Washington is not American. When in one of the world's oldest democracies, supporters of an outgoing president take up arms to challenge the legitimate results of an election, the universal idea, one person, one vote, is undermined. The French president finished his speech in English, saying, We believe in the strength of democracy. We believe in American democracy. However, George Galloway accused Mr. Macron of hypocrisy after pointing out the Yellow Vest movement that has followed his French presidency. He also highlighted the French police crackdown on protesters. He told RT, there was a fair bit of hypocrisy on view in Europe. President Macron was billing and cooing and cluck clucking about what happened in Washington. But, for more than a year Paris has been a war zone, where the yellow vests were being clubbed to the ground. Yellow vest protesters were gassed and shot, their arms and eyes were severed. It is hypocrisy. This comes as Mr. Macron struggles to stem a revolt among his own citizens, as he receives a backlash for the country's slow coronavirus vaccine rollout. Mr. Macron's administration has so far only given out around 5,000 vaccines, and France has one of the lowest levels of trust in the coronavirus vaccine in the world. French MP Nicolas Bay warned Mr. Macron that voters will not forget his immense failures in relation to the rollout of the COVID-19 vaccine. Mr. Bay said the EU was also guilty of failures which had slowed down the process across the continent. Mr. Macron is under significant and growing pressure domestically as a result of the sluggish pace of the program to inoculate France's 67 million citizens. In comparison, British Prime Minister Boris Johnson pointed out this week that more people in Britain had been vaccinated than in the rest of Europe combined. 